day ladies and gentlemen good day students this is made for learners framework 2.0 this is your week two courseware under ssp031 creative thinking tools trends and techniques so i am your instructor engineer charity and m Cabante. so for week two under creative thinking tools trends and techniques you have four topics and the last topic which is tap, uh, topic six design on trees so design on trees is actually the same with doing um, the others which is aiming to create a design to improve the existing problems found on those existing designs so trees is actually a technology-based systematic methodology that aims to overcome psychological inertia so as you notice technology base meaning to say we are actually answering technical problems on trees so trees is made by Genrich Alt Alshuler it's a Russian acronym for Theore Theoria Rationea Eso Bretatelsky Zedak which can be translated also to the theory of inventive problem solving so let's uh, have an overview about how trees is done we find we find a specific problem after finding a specific problem we abstract it generating a general problem from the specific problem and then after that create general solutions and provide analogy so that we can provide solution to the specific problem that we have found now a uh, trees has 39 parameters so these 39 parameters can either be improving or worsening parameters and the 40 principles will guide us on what type of principle can we create the solution so first is we go now to the trees contradiction matrix grid so this trees contradiction matrix grid is actually um, a guide for us in order to find the right principles where we can create solutions so in this case for instance the problem is um, food packaging so what are the current problems with food packaging it could be um, the use of plastics of course uh, with regards to sustainable development goal on climate action we are trying to improve or not improve but lessen the use of plastics that will hurt our environment and then what else maybe the distance of the product to the store that is why um, that is why there is um, an issue with the substance or the quality of the, the food that is being delivered so when regards to the food packaging as mentioned by the Imperial College of London um, the improving parameter is done in rows so they chose as you've noticed in the courseware here in the example of application in the contradiction matrix they chose row 16 as their improving parameter so let's check what is row 16 so row 16 is actually the duration of action by the stationary object so of course these products stay on the truck or stay on their packaging that is why um, the duration of time that they are kept in the packaging could affect uh, could affect the, the quality of the food or produce that's why um, we have to improve the duration that, that the project is held so the worsening parameter is of course the parameter that could cause any problems with the current um, with the current problem at hand which is the food packaging so they chose column 26 which is column 26 is you can go to the to the second page and the second page row 26 is the quality of substance or the matter so meaning to say sorry the quantity of substance or the matter so I mean to say the amount of substance kept in the materials or the produce or the goods that has been that is being delivered so mean to say Meaning to say, we go to row 16, so that is why it's better to really print this out because it's really small. So row 16, and from there, this is column 26. Therefore, we can improve using the principles 3, 35, and 31. So 3, 35, and 31, we go now to, to page 2. 
three three is in terms of local quality so we can do um su- provide suggestions regarding local quality 31 is about the porous materials and 30 Five, which is the transformation of physical or chemical state of an object so because of the three principles you can create as a team what could be your suggestion with regards to food packaging or with the problem that you have found so so as we saw in the as we saw in the video in terms of the local quality principle we can actually do an improvement on that by um, limiting the time that the product is being delivered so for instance um, instead of it takes let's say three days to deliver the product maybe we can limit that into one day by how um, creating um, creating warehouses that is that are near to the stores or uh, we can also improve um, on our speed of delivery through getting another um, another curry carrier so we can do a lot of things in terms of um, improving the delivery distance what else in terms of the 35th principle so this is trans- transformation meaning to say we transform for instance the products that are being packed so maybe we can keep products at at certain temperatures so that their um, uh, freshness is kept or we can also ensure that they will not be rotten um, some they really do add some chemicals in order to extend the shelf life of the products and what else uh, keep of course ensure that the carrier of the the truck carrier of these products are cold trucks so we actually have cold trucks for that so we need to say the transformation part is actually enhancing the genetic material of the product so ensuring that they totally transform in order in order to address the problems that we have found then in terms of porous material the por- the porous material principle is useful if we separate mga the we separate the undesirable items or substances so maybe we add something to the produce or uh, regenerate the produce and put it in cans therefore lengthening its shelf life because of adding preservatives so this reduces the need for lots of packaging to prolong the life of the food so basically that's how we do trees um, as mentioned it's really technical that's why if you are to choose a problem as much as possible it's a technical issue if possible you can look for problems that are timely today for COVID-19 or with the, within the pandemic so that your solutions can also be relative to the principles so that's it about trees it's uh it's kind of difficult especially if we do it online but i do hope that you can do something with regards to how with regards to being creative in uh, um, creating solutions together and hopefully I'm excited to see all your four outputs for this courseware so that's it that's courseware number two for week two and I do hope that you've learned a lot for this uh, for this week God bless